Hey there, everybody. I hope you're having a sweet Sunday. I watched this great video by Joy DeFee about transforming junk mail envelopes into these. Now, these, you know, are pouches. I've been looking for a receptacle, a cool receptacle for the, um, the coffee dyed papers that... Um, that I'm putting in my shop and these are just <laughs> I mean it, it doesn't get any better than this I'm doing handmade ephemera and copy dot papers in these so let's just take a look go to Joy's video I do things a wee bit differently than she does especially if I'm working with just a regular envelope and not a junk mail envelope so but she is the queen man she's the queen bee so I have her video linked in the description box below. I also wanted to remind you guys that I have Venmo if you are so inclined to put a bit of monetary things in my tip jar over at Venmo and that is linked in the description box below as well. Let's take a look at these. They're super cool. I made these out. Now this one was a junk mail a junk mail envelope. I did have one junk mail envelope. I divested myself of a lot of paper uh, the past few weeks. You guys know that I'm decluttering and one of the things that went was a small stash of junk mail envelopes that had the window here. I'll show you how these come together. They, I mean, they're just perfect. They're, they're the perfect things that I needed exactly at the right time. You know, if we, if we just hang in and if we're just patient, the universe really does usually kind of answer our queries. You know, it's knock and it'll be open uh, as long as we are just trying, as, as long as we are patient. I love this one as well. It says curious. The, um, the, little attachments right here that hold everything together are man oh man i mean it doesn't get simpler than a circle right a circle with a brad this one says family and you can tell they they are i mean they're collaged collaged out the cool thing is that joey does this really clever pen work with them and after we get finished putting one together, I'll kind of take you through her process of pen work. I also, you know, I like to do my own pen work. And as these, um, as these junk mail envelopes develop, these collage envelopes develop, I'll probably do a little more of my very own style pen work. Let's start with a junk mail envelope. I have to get my glasses. And I need a glue stick. And I need some glue. Okay. We start with the, we put an image in the envelope here, you know, so it peeks out of, of the, the window in the envelope. I found this, I think I had cut this from a catalog, and she kind of just looked perfect all in there. What I'm going to do is just tack her down with a little bit. Well, I thought I was going to use glue stick, but I can't get that in there. So we'll just use the Tombow liquid glue. I'm just really looking to tack her down um, just a little bit. This doesn't really have to be complicated. And put a little bit of glue back here. Joey says don't get the glue on, of course, you know, don't get the glue on this this nice little um, acetate piece that's on the front of a junk mail envelope. All right, next thing is that we are going to, um, I forget, I forget Joey's steps. The cool thing about Joey, y'all, I mean, there's a lot of great things about her, but the, the really super cool thing is that she always has a printable that goes along with her, with her projects. That way you can just download the printable, you know, God, I mean, you know, keep them in a book, man. <laughs> She's just, and it's always like a step-by-step. -step. 
It's very clever. It's very enlightening. Usually it's pretty darn easy, which is really nice. I created a flap for the top right here. The thing when you're creating the flap at the top, you need to remember that you are going to put this closure on here. I think the top can be any size you want, but you, you just have to remember, hey, I gotta, you know, I gotta make that closure there. As I collage this, I'll keep checking, and if things look like they're gonna get pushed down this way, you know, just as I'm collaging, then I'll take a little bit off of this flap and just kind of move things up that way. All right, uh, let's get started. <clears throat> it is really pollen-y here, so excuse me if I cough or clear my throat. I've got the windows open because it's super hot as well. First thing I like to start with is just a little bit of super vintage book page. I have vintage paper collections in my shop. So check those out. I'm just going to snug that up right there. You know, kind of, Joey has this clever way of doing this, and I, I keep having to watch her. I can't do it the way she does it. So what I'm going to do is just kind of <clears throat> close the envelope over here by doing this. <clears throat> I'm not going to glue it onto the back quite yet. It creates a bit of a, uh, you're just, you'll see, you'll see. Kind of get a little surprise on the back that way. All right, so here we go. I want to add another something like this over here. So I'm going to use one of my so I said I have paper collections in the shop. I also have uh, vintage National Geographic maps, which are really fun to use with a project like this. I think what I'll do is use about this much, I'll fold it over again, and I'll just tear this. Perfect. And lay that aside. You'll probably want to use a little more of that in a minute. In a minute. All right, let's kind of, okay, that's too big. So it's going to be about half of this. Let's tear it again. And again, I'm going to glue and then fold it over, but not glue it down on the other side. Let me see where I need to glue here. So that just kind of starts things for me. I kind of have to um, accomplish the task as I see them. Joey, like I said, has her printout that is perfecto. So do check that out. I'm going to use the rest of this. I kind of liked, you know, the rigging of the ship. I think that's a very interesting strip of paper right here. So I want to use that. I don't want to get too far over. There we go. That's it. Now, let's talk about the closure here. Let's let's talk about the flap. Um, I have my dimensions kind of set, right? Now, I want to... Joey uses uh, a craft knife, an X-Acto knife. 
I do not, I don't have a super sharp exacto knife. So I just cut the top of the envelope right here like that. And then I'm going to cut right here. All right, now that is what you have here after you've accomplished the cutting, okay? So this is what it looked like before. This is what it looks like now, okay? This part will go inside your, your pouch. The way to get that to fit is to just trim off a tiny bit on each side there and there now I can stick this back in here might be a wee fussy but you can do it give it a good little seal there now there's your flap right worked out fine let's continue our collage i really like splashes of bright color on vintage papers to me it's super interesting I love doing it. So what I'm going to do here, I don't like that too much. You know what, I think I'm going to, I'm going to use, again, this is the coffee dyed paper that I will have in my shop starting probably Wednesday. Probably by the weekend. I can get some vintage paper and I mean some coffee dot paper in the shop along with these ephemera packs as well. That's super cool. Now this says write your story right here. So I think what I'm going to do do this like this and then fold over. She does look very intriguing, doesn't she? She looks like she's got a story to tell. Again, I'm not gluing anything down to the back of the pouch yet. Checking. Okay, we're looking good. This will be hidden so we can kind of do whatever we want up here. This is too pretty to hide, so I'll use that somewhere else. Okay, before I forget, let's deal with the inside of the pouch. You can do this a couple of different ways. You can use text paper. There's a couple things that I'm thinking I might use this here. So I am yeah That 
that's good. Let's do put a bit of color on each side of this and then tuck that in. that's the trickiest part of, of, of doing these is that you, you know, you're kind of working with that inside of the envelope. You're trying to get things tacked down and it's not, you know, it's a, it's a double surface. It's not just like one, one surface, right? Now, of course, I'll need to collage here and bring this around in order to close that side of the envelope, right? Right. Remember, you can always trim this off. That's what I'm going to do. over and trim just like that on the back I'm going to use a solid color I'm not sure if that blue is doing the trick for me I think I might want something else I'm looking at my the thing is that sometimes when I do these I get too fussed about the colors and it doesn't really matter about the colors if it, it really doesn't it the ending the pen work the faux stitching that you also do with the pen really does bring like, the whole thing together in a rather stunning and marvelous way. Because Joey thought of it. That's why it's stunning and marvelous. Oh, I got the snow ink. Hold on. We're going to have to have a chippy session soon so I can use my scraps. <laughs> but this is all scraps too. <sighs> Makes it really quite neat. Collage is my favorite thing in the world. My uncle, you've heard me talk about my dear uncle. I used to sit and watch him draw and paint and listen to music. He was 10 years older than me, so it was very much like having a big brother. And he passed away when he was 30. He had anorexia, which was really an unknown kind of thing for anybody, you know. And as you know, as we've learned more about anorexia, you know, we think of it as a as a um, teenager's disease or a woman's disease, but you know, not not so. Okay, let's see how that looks. Yeah, that looks 
kind of cool because she's kind of got a little bit of purple in her dress. I also see that I need to trim this a little bit. I didn't get it quite straight. I have my bifocals on. A wee challenging. All right. Um, I'm going to work right here. snoring so sweet okay I don't like those purples together so let's figure out something else um let's use book pages She is conked out. Oh my goodness. Well, that's going to be like perfect. But I do want it to kind of wrap over here a little bit. Now I can put this here. I feel good about that. And then this is going to kind of go here. Something like that. We finally got a break in the weather. It's really very nice today. The farm is open and people are picking berries. Strawberry season is super short. And um, people will say, you know, we'll get lots of emails and messages and things like that and it's like when are you gonna open when are you gonna open when are you gonna open and then we open and it's like crickets <laughs> and then those same people will email in june and go were you open i missed it and it's like dude it's been all over the news it's been all over everywhere uh, how did you miss it I would say it's funny, but it, it ain't it ain't funny at all. All right, let's use um, coffee dot lined coffee dot paper to do the back here. I'm gonna take this off up here. All right, I'm gonna put all this away put the coffee dab paper here and then we can fold it over and kind of do you know the collagey stuff and after I finish this I um, this this will just be a two-part video um, I'll work on my pen work after I do my workout and eat lunch because I'm super hungry So finish this, workout, lunch, and then we can come back and, and finish this up with pen work. That'll give you time to watch Joy's video. 
Okay, so we got that. Got this. Got this. I'm liking it. I'm feeling like I need some color over here. So I'm just going to put this right here. One of the most bestest suggestions that Joey has on her video is to use a bit of washi. This is it's such a clever idea because it's like the exact thing you need to sort of start bringing things together. I also really like to use washi. Um, like you can use tiny parts or long parts or skinny parts or whatever. It's really quite fun. I'm going to do this. I think on the front, another tip that Joey has is using something that is black and white. You know, a washi tape that is black and white. This one is black and gold. It's got little stars on it. I can't find the beginning of it. There it is right there. So I think with this, I'm just gonna go that way. and put the closure on here. You know, we'll see if we have to trim anything off the top. I'm looking for my closure. I have some over here that I've already cut out. I took old greeting cards. I just made closures. I think this one looks nice with this. Okay. hear her and she's snoozing she and her brother have been outside playing and playing and playing and it's very funny to watch them she is so tiny and he is so big Use a uh, pink. Okay, so let's eyeball this again. If you do, if you push it too far up, y'all, it you almost have to bend it to get this flap under your closure. So, you know, offset it a little bit like that. And then that will, that will give it the ability to close in the proper way. Punch a hole here like that. When you <laughs> when you work with the brad, push the brad through the closure and then open the brad a little bit. 
So when you reach inside the envelope to secure the brad, you can get both ends. That one's, it's, it's fussy, it's a little bit tricky right there. There it goes. All right, now I'm gonna reach inside here and pull the brads apart. Pull the little, I don't know what you call those. Y'all will probably have a better trick for this than me. Okay, there we go. All right, now I'm just gonna kind of put that right there. And there we go, man oh man. Looked better than when it came in the junk mail pile, didn't it? <laughs> I'm linking Joy's video in the description box below. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and consider um, giving me a tip in Venmo. We'll be back part two to look at um, the pen work and the faux stitching, which I'm in love with faux stitching because we don't like to sew here. And this works really, really well. So there we go, my friends. Just something to, um, to help you of a Sunday. Maybe something to do while you're watching the telly or whatever. Thanks for watching, y'all. See you soon.